Hey Scorpio, welcome guys. I hope you're having a great day so far. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Uh, let's see what messages the universe and spirit has for you today. And Spooky McGill is just joining us, just keeping an eye. And I feel like those cards did not want to stay in my hands. So let's see what well, we got one here. So we have the throat chakra and the throat chakra tends to represent communication. So there might be somebody in your life you need to communicate with, but this might even be just communicating your own thoughts and your feelings to yourself and clarifying them. Oh, deception and envy. I wonder what this is all about. I wonder if you got somebody in your life who's not quite on the up and up. I have material harvest. So definitely uh, something positive there. And patience and planning. I feel like that patience and planning is going to be paying off with that material harvest. And I have the chakra that deals with your emotions, desires, and creativity. So I feel like something you've been working towards, you're about to get. And this might be what triggers somebody's envy in your life as well. So let's see what tarot has to say about these cards. I have the chariot. The chariot represents perseverance and positive movement forward. So definitely encouragement with the universe uh, to keep trucking on. I also have the page of wands, which speaks of good news. I feel like it's definitely tied into this material harvest that is coming your way. And the five of pentacles can speak of going through a rough time financially. So definitely uh, this change is going to be welcome for you because I feel like it is talking about uh, some sort of a raise or a career. It's definitely money that's coming. The Wheel of Fortune card represents your fortunes changing for the better. And the Temperance card speaks of a balance between emotion and logic. And I feel like this Temperance card is definitely tied to the throat chakra and communication and not letting your emotions run away with you. Uh, and being able to, if you have to communicate with somebody, uh, doing it in a reasonable manner. I also have the Three of Pentacles, which represents starting to see the fruits of your labor. So this is what this money is that's coming your way. This is something you've been working towards, uh, planning for, and you're starting to finally see it pay off here. Uh, the king of pentacles represents wealth and success uh when i when i see him i see the word you so this is this is where you're headed this is what you're going to be getting i feel like, feel like it might trigger somebody's um jealousy here somebody in your life i have the judgment card so the judgment card represents karma so getting back what you put out into the world and you've been putting out a lot of hard work to try and make this change and karma has noticed and she's bringing you some rewards here and the three of cups represents happiness and celebration so definitely a reason to party when this shows up the pay or sorry ace of pentacles represents new beginnings and again pentacles tends to represent money and finance so a new beginning a new monetary beginning uh, in your world it might speak to like i said a raise a promotion a new job but definitely a change that's coming and the Knight of Wands can represent moving it can represent moving on it also can represent a swift change as well I feel like it's tied to deception and envy though. Uh, this can be somebody who's a bit of a hothead and acts without thinking. Uh, this might be somebody who just blurts out something really stupid. Um, and you're going to have to tell them how it makes you feel. Uh, I don't know that they're terrible, a terrible person. Uh, but I feel like there's something negative here that you are going to have to deal with. And the Magician card represents having all the tools that you need to be successful in life. So it speaks of that self-confidence, all the hard work that you put in to be able to find your own success. Uh, the King of Wands represents passion, ambition, and drive. And I feel like this is speaking to you as well. I feel like in part it might speak to that deception and envy and maybe somebody who wishes they had what you had as well and seeing you find success and they're a little bit jealous of it not because they don't like you or they resent you but just because they would like to have it for themselves. I also have the ace of swords which represents triumph. So I feel like you're moving in a very successful way in your life. I see a change coming very quickly. Uh, Money-wise, like I said, a promotion, a new job, a raise, whatever it is, it's definitely karma for all your hard work. There's just going to be somebody in the background here uh, who's not quite as happy for you as they should be, but it's not because they're a terrible person. I don't see that in the cards. I see that they're just jealous and wish that they had it for themselves. So this might actually light the fire under their ass to find their passion, ambition, and drive and move forward and build their own success us. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me. I hope that you enjoyed the read. Uh, remember, if you want to participate in our free read giveaway at the end of each week, all you have to do is be a subscriber and just leave a message in one of my videos saying that you're interested and I'll throw your name in the pot. Alrighty guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. Take care.